We have received quite a number of reports from GSkin users about Nissan's idle air volume learning function. We observed such misconceptions out there where some users think GSkin is not doing its job when it actually needs to be performed under certain conditions. Also, as the service manual suggests, it can be done manually as well. So when do you need to perform this function? When you replace ECM or Electric Throttle Control Actuator, simply ETC, or when you disconnect a connector that goes into the ETC for a throttle body cleaning purpose. Now here's precondition that needs to be satisfied. You need to have the battery voltage greater than 12.9 volts. Warm up the engine to normal operating temperature. It should be between 70 to 95 degrees Celsius. And all electric loads or accessories such as air conditioning headlamp should be turned to off position. Steering wheel to straight position. Transmission should be in parking or neutral position. And of course, vehicle needs to be at stopped position. Select Diagnosis. Select Nissan. 16 pin connector. Engine. First, we check DTC analysis to see if there is any DTC present. Nope. Then we go to data analysis to check precondition. Select detail to group the sensor data you want to see. Now that we have satisfied the precondition, let's go to the special function to perform idle air volume learning function. Wait, there are two functions. You may think these are two separate functions, but don't worry about that. If your car uses KWP protocol, which means manufactured in early 2000s, you will see both of them. However, if your car uses CAN system, which means your car is manufactured late 2000s, you won't even see this name. You will just see the idle air volume learning function. Quite wordy here, but always pay attention to these instruction and preconditions before performing function. Meeting the preconditions is really important in order to perform calibration successfully. If your Nissan is not working with GSCAN 2, it could have different type of system that needs to be performed manually. Now, this is something we added in order to help understand users to perform manual procedure. If you look at down here, we added a new tip button. You will see detailed information about manual procedure of accelerator pedal, released position learning, throttle valve closed position learning and idle air volume learning. If you select OK, GSCAN 2 will proceed learning. It is simple, but like I mentioned earlier, there are some types that needs to be performed manually. Here's the step. For accelerator pedal released position, First, make sure the accelerator pedal is fully released. Then turn the ignition switch on and wait at least 2 seconds. Then turn it off and wait at least 10 seconds. And on again for wait and wait at least 2 seconds and off again and wait at least 10 seconds. For throttle valve closed position learning, make sure the pedal is fully released Turn the ignition switch on and turn the switch off and wait at least 10 seconds. And make sure that the throttle valve moves during above 10 seconds by confirming the operating sound. For idle air volume learning, manual procedure, make sure all the preconditions are satisfied. 
turn the ignition switch off and wait at least 10 seconds. And confirm the accelerator pedal is fully released. Turn the ignition switch on and wait for 3 seconds. Repeat the following procedure quickly 5 times within 5 seconds. Fully depress the pedal and fully release the pedal. Wait for 7 seconds, fully depress the pedal and keep it for approximately 20 seconds until the mill or check engine light stops blinking and turn on. Fully release the accelerator pedal within 3 seconds after the mill turned on. And start the engine and let it idle. Wait for 20 seconds and wrap up the engine 2 or 3 times and make sure that idle speed is within the specification. That's it for this video. Hope you all understand that there's a manual procedure beside using scan tool. If you have no idea how to perform manually, don't forget the tip button in the bottom menu. As always, thanks for watching this video and we will come back with another video soon.